Welcome to 5 Minute FPV. Today I'm going to show you how to put custom images, backgrounds, splash screens on your Jumper T16 or any other OpenTX Jumper TX radio that has a similar size screen. It's simple. It's so simple. Um, this is mine. I've got a few of my favorite brands on there. FPV is not a crime. I stole that from Bot Grinder. Um, it show you my images before I put them on the screen. It is a little washed out. Let me bring that back. It's a little washed out. I'm just using a webcam to capture that right now, and it it doesn't like taking pictures of another monitor essentially. So um, this is what you get out of the box. It's boring. It's bland. It's it's beautiful, but it's it's just not unique by any means. So uh, I'm going to show you how to change that and make it cool. Um, I do remove the slider and trim indicators from mine um, just to clean it up a little bit. I don't use them. I don't. I don't know anybody that flies FPV that's using trim unless you're flying a wing. Um, not going to talk a whole lot about this screen. This is what the advertising showed us and made us all think we were going to get, which we didn't get because it does not come pre-installed. It is a massive. Lua development by Yapu. There's a GitHub. You can go and download that. Um, I will probably make a video on this shortly um, to show you how to get that all installed. So back to my images. This is my background again. Same size as the splash screen, um, which is right here, 480 by 272. Those both do need to be called PNG, splash.png and background-png. I will show you where to put those in a moment. And the model images, that's a fly sky image, that's a TBS wing image. Uh, those are 192 by 114. Now, your SD contents. This is uh, where they're going to go. You've got, <coughs> excuse me, two ways of putting these on. You can either... Uh, pull your SD card, put it in your computer, and drop and drag them that way. Or you can uh, plug the USB cable right into your radio and drop the files in. Your splash screen, we'll start with that one since that's the first screen you're going to see. It's under images and it's called splash.png. Simple as that. Drop and drag splash.png into the images folder and that's what you're going to see at boot. Your uh, background image is under themes. Now I've got the default theme selected even though I've tweaked mine a little bit. Um, that's where your background's going to go and it's it's simply called background.png right there. So that's where you're going to put your background image. Your model images, we're going to go back to images and they just go in there. These are all planes and things that they've preloaded very generic they don't look really well because you know they've got a background that hasn't been trimmed out and stuff like that so I've tried to make some cleaner ones I've got uh, TBS wing I've got TBS quad fly sky free sky d8 and free sky d16 images that I've created there's the wing image there's fly sky that's the free sky d8 free sky d16 and then Crossfire Quad. So those are the, the main ones that I use. I, I do fly on all those protocols. I do only create one model for each, or one profile for each protocol, and I might have 10 quads bound to the Crossfire. I might have four or five to Free Sky. Um, just, just how I do it. It makes life easier for me. Um, that's another video, though. So back to SD contents, themes, and images. That's where you're going to drop and drag them. It's as simple as that. Um, the images I have, I will create a Google Drive and drop those in there with a link in the description. If you want to use them, that's fine by me. If you want to create your own, go for it because that's what this is all about. So, again, thanks for watching. If I helped you out, which I hope I did, um, like my channel, subscribe, share it. Um, my goal is to get in and get out as quick and simple as possible. I don't want to waste your time talking about things you don't care about. You came here to learn how to uh, add some custom images to your radio, and now you know how to. So thanks for watching.